You know, when I was a little kid, I always thought of myself as a boy. But you learn really early on that someone like me is immediately going to be told they're a girl. So I learned to be quiet. I learned to stifle that part of me. And it was boxing that brought me back into my body. And it was boxing that allowed me to be proud of actually what I was physically able to do. Soon after. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> This story, I must admit, is a, a little funny. It's just a little funny. It's a little schadenfreude. I know, okay? I am a weak man, all right? I understand. By the way, if you haven't yet, please do leave a like on the video. If you haven't yet, subscribe or follow down below. Yes, I'm currently filming in a, a, a room at Crowder Studio, but I'll be back in studio tomorrow. Everything will go back to looking like normal. But I do really, really appreciate everyone following the account and uh, subscribing because it's hard to reach you. Plus, I'll see you live at 530 Eastern. Any hoozle. Uh, big, big news. Uh, we talk about a lot on this channel about biological males who take advantage of the situation, um, who uh, want to compete against biological females. And we talk about how you never see it the other way around right? You never see biological women forcing their way into men's spaces. We talk about this with the litany of individuals, for example, uh, who wanted to go into planet fitness, right? All of these people, um, you know, ultimately very, very confused individuals, but for whatever reason, it's always one direction, right? And so we're clear, if you were born a biological man and you want to transition to a woman, okay, you have gender dysphoria and you have the surgery or you do whatever, okay, cool. That's 100% fine. Uh, but what you cannot do is then compete in feats of strength against biological women. Competing with an unfair physical advantage is not a human right. It is embracing a mental health issue in the entire world only with people who have gender dysphoria do is the prescribed treatment to enable it and to e affirm it okay if you look at other types of dysmorphia anorexia um, on one end and baby you know people those guys who get all the you know they're always on all the roids and they have body dysmorphia because they can't get big enough no psychologist is telling these people, yeah, you should keep not eating or yeah, you should keep doing more roids or yeah, you should keep barfing up your dinner. Only with the trans ideology is the prescription to say, not only should you embrace your dysmorphia, but everybody in the world must also embrace it. Now, here is a story of a beautiful F-A-F-O scenario with a wild, questionable theory around it. So I didn't know if you knew this, but boxing is actually kind of woke. Uh, you have Everlast, which is obviously a big sponsor of boxing, makes, makes gloves and ring stuff and all sorts of other stuff, right? They have been promoting a biological female uh, who wants to fight as a biological male. Now, first and foremost, I will say that's actually fine, okay? But what this story does is it proves that maybe this particular individual who really wants to live their life as a man isn't one of the creeps that wants to just go into the Planet Fitness restroom. A transgender man will be the face of the iconic boxing brand Everlast in a move lauded for showing that there are, quote, many ways to be a man. It's really just one. It's biological. But anyway, Patricio Manuel is the first professional trans male boxer. That means they're a biological female and they cut off healthy tissue 
and they take testosterone. Um, and is the newest faces for their B first campaign also features an amputee fighter, <coughs> sorry, and an immigrant family. How do you say an, Im- an amputee is the same as an immigrant? Prior to transitioning, Manuel was a, the United States national amateur boxing champion when competing as a female. Again, this, I always say you never see it this way. It never see it, you never see it go this way. Just wait. I promise you this payoff is going to be great. Quote, a lot of people in boxing who I talk to say they would like to come to me. You could have been, you know, one of the greatest female world champions. They're like, you would throw it all away just to be yourself. He said in a video for Everlast. And I tell them, that's how bad I felt living the lie. If it meant this much to me to risk my love of life, boxing, then they, then they knew that it was valid. And again, I'm going to say, I want to point out here, I support this. They, want, they are biological female. They want to compete against biological men to affirm their identity. Then fine. Okay, they just had their their big fight here, which which is hilarious. We're gonna get to it. And also, interestingly, all the footage of their first fight seemingly scrubbed from the internet. Well, he said he had always thought of himself as a boy growing up. You learn early on that someone like me is immediately going to be told they're a girl. Yeah, because you are a girl. You are a girl. So I learned to be quiet. I learned to stifle that part of me, he said saying that eventually he felt completely disconnected. It was boxing that brought him back into his body. It was boxing that allowed me to be proud of actually what I was physically able to do. Unfortunately, when you deviate from the norms, the society is constructed, blah, 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 blah. Okay. But again, this is a biological Our, male but it's also okay, how the world- who wanted to compete against a biological female, I'm sorry, who wants to compete against biological males. I have no issue with this. Now, it sucks for the biological males that have to uh, compete, but here's how the first fight went. Patricio Manuel, who is a transgender boxer, biological female who underwent surgery and extensive hormone therapy to live as a male, was knocked out cold 21 seconds into his first into their first fight. To me, I agree with George a G Prime here. It's wrong and cruel to even allow this. I mean, first of all, if you're the guy boxer, right? It delegitimizes your win, right? Everybody, this is just the practical sense of it. Everybody around you is going to say, oh yeah, you won, you beat a woman. Okay. If he loses, he's even doubly humiliated. Okay. And, and if he wins, he beat a girl. So this is, it's just a, it's a farce. It's a joke. But bro was not ready to be a man yet. You can't cheat nature, equal rights, equal lefts, summary of the fight. Like everybody just, you know, knocked out in just 21 seconds. Um, You know, a biological female can never compete against biological male in a male sport. I mean, this proves everything, you know, this proves everything. Now, individually, What's interesting about this particular story, you see trans-identified female boxer knocked out in 21 seconds by male competitor. I trained my rear end off, had great sparring, cut no corners. Sometimes stuff doesn't go your way. Well, you're a biological woman and you're getting punched by a biological man in your same weight class who probably has, uh, I don't know, 300% the muscle mass as you. Now, I'm sure you train because in this particular case, like... I'm trying not to dunk on this individual too roughly because they were already a good boxer, clearly, uh, as a as a female. But then they decided, hey, I want to be a male, and they didn't go want to compete against. You know, it's not like as if a man decided, hey, I'm mediocre at boxing and I want to go, you know, beat up on women and be a champion. This person was a champion, and decided, okay, I have I'm a champion. I'm going to go compete against men and got absolutely demolished, absolutely demolished. Manuel was the first female trans boxer to compete at the male pro level. 
spoke out about the World Boxing's Council decision in 2023 to create a separate category for trans boxers after winning a, th- a third fight. It's heartbreaking to have me- have the WBC, a leader in my sport, argue that I don't have a place in the ring as a man. Well, you aren't a man. I don't say that to be mean. I don't want you to get hurt. And I do think that it delegitimizes any wins or you know people's victories against you. It's a mockery. There's nothing saying that You absolutely have to compete. It's not a human right to compete in the opposite biological category. But here's where things get even more weird. You see this from Boxing Ego 1. Last week, popular trans boxer, they're not popular, Patricio Manuel was brutally knocked out in the first round in 21 seconds by Joshua Brian Reyes, on, on a Golden Boy Promotions card in Indio, California. Subsequently, the clip has been completely erased from the internet and cannot be found anywhere online. The clip has been scrubbed from the net. My thing is, if boxing supports trans boxers versus biological males and the commission approves the fight, how is it fair to erase the footage after a bad loss? Equal rights, no problem. But if it's any other male versus a male boxer is eliminated in a contest, no matter how brutal the knockout is, no matter how much that fighter wouldn't want that knockout highlight to be seen, the clip remains. Do you really think Manny Pacquiao wants? Yeah, I mean, that's true. Where does this say? Uh, You know, Manny Pacquiao's brutal. Yeah, do you really think Manny Pacquiao wanted to have millions of people see him get knocked out and face plant by Juan Manuel Marquez? Of course not but the clip can still be found online. So if you sign up for such a dangerous sport like boxing, I don't think it's fair regardless of gender to erase the content. If the roles had been reversed and Patricio Manuel had beaten the biological male in the by a first round stoppage, it would have been, would the clip still have been removed? No, of course not. Let me know in the comment section what you think, of course. Can't find the video, it's been scrubbed doesn't fit the narrative. Now you can only find videos of wins against weaker, smaller opponents. Nobody, everybody in the comments saying, I can, nobody can find the clip. It's just, it's just nonsense. It's craziness. And uh, it's just, it's got to stop. It's got to stop at some point. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon.